Today, I've got five fantastic boozy designer fragrances to show you. If that sounds interesting, stay tuned. How's it going YouTube? I hope you're all doing well. I'm Grant, this is 2 plus 2 equals fragrance. Welcome to the channel. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd really appreciate it if you could like, comment and subscribe to the channel if you've not already, and turn on your notifications so you'll be made aware of any future content. You can also follow me over on Instagram at 2 plus 2 equals fragrance. So it's getting quite cold where I live here in the UK, and boozy fragrances work brilliantly in the cool weather. So I thought I'd show you today five fantastic boozy designer fragrances that are just going to smell fantastic in this cold weather. So the first fragrance we're going to take a look at is this one. Carolina Herrera, CH Men Privé. This is an absolutely beautiful fragrance. The boozy note in this one is whiskey, and you've also got some grapefruit, leather and tonka bean, as well as some other notes, but they're some of the main notes. And I've got a feeling this one's discontinued, unfortunately. It doesn't seem to be on the website anymore, the Carolina Herrera website. And you do seem to be able to pick it up at a few places, but the price has gone right up, which would lead me to believe it's been discontinued. I'm not 100% sure of that. But I've got a feeling it has been, which I'm really gutted about, to be honest, because this is a fantastic fragrance. Love the smell of this one. The whiskey's there all the way through it. It is quite a prominent note. And the leather mixes in with it beautifully with the sweetness from the tonka bean. And you get an unusual freshness from the grapefruit in this one as well. You get kind of a, a citrus feel all the way through this fragrance. More prominent in the opening and then it fades more into the background as it dries down. But you have got that citrus freshness all the way through this one, which is quite strange for a boozy fragrance. It is quite unique. And if you can get this one at a decent price, I wouldn't pay stupid amounts over retail, but if you can get it at a decent price, it's definitely one worth checking out because I love this fragrance. That was Carolina Herrera, CH Men Privé. Next up, let's take a look at this one. This is Givenchy, Gentleman Givenchy Reserve Privé. Another stunning fragrance. The boozy note in this one again is whiskey, but it's definitely not as prominent in this fragrance as it was in the previous one, CH Men Privé from Carolina Herrera. The whiskey in this one is more in the background and it's kind of a woody whiskey note. It's not one of the, I wouldn't say it's the main note. It's one of the main notes, although it does sit in the background because it's there all the way through the fragrance. The main note in this one is iris, and you've also got some amber and chestnut that mixes in with it really nicely. I wouldn't say this is a hugely unique fragrance. You could compare it to other things, where, as I said, CH Men Privé, I thought it was quite unique. This one does smell a lot like other, you know, like a lot of other fragrances, to be fair. Uh, the original Gentleman EDP is very similar to this. If you took away the chestnut and the whiskey, replaced it with a bit of spice. It also smells quite similar to Dior Homme Intense, and there's a few other fragrances as well. So it's not massively unique, but it does smell of really high quality, and it smells absolutely fantastic. The chestnut gives it a nice little twist on top of that boozy, lipsticky iris. And yeah, I'd probably say this is definitely in the top three, if not my favourite pickup from this year. I think it's that good. Definitely another one worth checking out. Smells fantastic in the cold air. That was Givenchy, Gentleman Givenchy, Reserve Privé. And moving on, we've got a banger of a cheap here. Burberry London. Most people know about this fragrance by now. It's been around a long time. It's the one everyone describes as Christmas in a bottle. And to be honest, I couldn't disagree with that. Some of the notes in this one, you've got a port wine, which is the boozy note, cinnamon, black pepper and tobacco. And on my skin, the port wine is the dominant note as this fragrance. That's the standout note I get through this fragrance, the port wine and the cinnamon. Them two notes are there from start to finish, which is probably what gives it that Christmassy feel because it's like a boozy cinnamon. You get a little bit of tobacco in the dry down and there's a little bit of that black pepper in there as well. I get an almost clove note out of this fragrance. I don't know if it's the way the cinnamon and the port wine mix together or some of the other notes, but I definitely pick up clove, which is not listed as a note. 
But this is, to me, a cinnamon port wine bomb. Smells fantastic. Definitely does remind you of Christmas. And again, in the cold air, smells fantastic. This one does. Definitely worth checking out. You can pick 100 mil up of this for about 30 quid. Absolute no-brainer. That was Burberry London. Next up, let's take a look at this one. Bulgari Man in Black. Now, I got this one last Christmas. I've had it on the channel a few times already. Absolutely beautiful fragrance. This smells of such high quality. It's a real classy scent. The boozy note you've got in this one's rum, and you get a good dose of it as well. And to go with that rum, you get spices, you get tonka bean, you get iris. It's just a smooth, spicy, boozy fragrance that, yeah, smells of really, really good quality. Love this one. Again, in the cold air, smells absolutely fantastic. All these fragrances do. The way that rum and the spice and the tonka bean combine, it's not a huge dose of tonka bean, this one. It just gives it a touch of sweetness. The rum and the spices are the dominant notes. The iris just gives it a little bit of smoothness. It's not a huge iris note. It's not lipsticky in any way. It just gives it that clean, elegant feel. But yeah, you've got to check this one out if you've not already. It's not a cheap fragrance, although you can generally find it at a decent price on discounters. I've noticed the retail price of this now has gone over £100 for 100 mil, which pff, is a lot. You can pick this one up a lot cheaper. You've just got to keep an eye out for decent discounts. I got this for £49, so you don't see it that cheap that often, but you can usually get it in the £60, £70 range. So at that price, definitely worth a pick up this one. That's Bulgari Man in Black. And the last fragrance we're going to take a look at is this one. Carolina Herrera, 212 VIP. Now, this is a bit different to the other ones on the list. Generally, you'll get your rum, your whiskey, sometimes cognac. They're the general boozy notes that you get with fragrances. In this one, it's actually vodka, which is quite different. I wouldn't say it's a real prominent vodka note. I mean, vodka's not really got a strong smell anyway when you smell vodka. But the overall scent profile of this one it smells like a sweet, fruity vodka cocktail. So with the vodka, you've got notes of passion fruit, which is one of the main notes with that vodka. You've got mint, and you've also got tonka bean. There's a lot of other notes in this one as well. I'm sure there's a little bit of ginger what pops off the top. There's a little bit of spice in here, but it's mainly about that sweet passion fruit note, which has got the boozy vodka feel to it. It smells like almost like a passion fruit vodka cocktail. So. Yeah, it's a little bit different to the ones on the list because it's got a real good amount of freshness in this one as well. I wouldn't say it's... You don't need to pigeonhole this one into the cold weather. It does smell fantastic in the cold, but you can also wear this one in the spring, no problem. And even on cooler summer days, I've worn this one. It's got enough freshness to it that you can wear this one almost all year round. But as with all the fragrances on here, it smells absolutely fantastic. Really, really do like this one. Definitely check it out. That's Carolina Herrera, 212 VIP. So there were five fantastic boozy designer fragrances. What boozy designer fragrances do you think are fantastic? And what did you think to my picks? Make sure you let me know down in the comments and we'll get a conversation going because I love chatting to you guys. As always, thanks a lot for taking the time out to watch this video. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, keep smelling amazing.